So now to find our member capacity in bending, so we're to look at flexural torsion buckling and lateral buckling. Now we have to find alpha m and alpha s. Alpha m finds the non-uniform movement constant, whilst the alpha s accounts for slenderness reduction. So firstly, to find alpha m, we can find alpha m using table 5.6.1. So depending on the shape of our bending moment diagram, so if you remember, a bending moment diagram look like this between the two restraints. So all right, so it is a triangle. Um, if we look at row three of table 5.6.1, we get a, a similar shape because we know what our uh, B to M is, which is zero we can uh, find our alpha m. So our alpha m is uh, 1.35 plus 0 0.4 bracket 2a on l where a is the distance between the uh, point of action to the mid span and because uh, it, the force is acting directly in the middle or the mid span a is equal to 0 so our alpha m is equal to 1.35 because this whole term becomes 0 yeah, so moving on to alpha s, so our slenderness reduction factor. We need two variables, uh, m s and m zero, and zero is our reference buckling moment that we need to find. But m s we already have, 